Psalm 96, 1 through 6. Sing a new song to the Lord. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord. Praise his name. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most, most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. The gods of other nations are mere idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and, ma honor and majesty surround him. Strength and beauty fill his sanctuary. Hi, this is Joe from Building Bridges Ministry. Today we are going to be talking about uh, worship music in church. And what, why do we do it? Um, last week we covered why to go to church. So, um, and this is the second half of the question uh, that I was asked about. And the answer to what is the importance of worship music at church and why it's played in the beginning of a, of a opening of church is to get us prepared for the sermon, to uh, refocus our thoughts on Christ, uh, what God has done for us, and to get us ready for, for the message, whatever that message is going to be for that week. Um, I know in my life, um, music has given me different attitudes, um, depending on what I'm doing. Um, listening to Christian rock or Christian music uh, usually helps me calm down and become more attuned to Christ, to be more focused, and to be a little bit calmer. Um, when I listen to like old classic rock type of music, um, it gets me more agitated, more uh, aggravated, uh, a little shorter temper. So I really have kind of weaned myself off of that. Um, so it is amazing how music can affect uh, how we walk on this earth. And, you know, being of clear mind and to be prepared to, to walk into uh, God's word and to absorb it and to listen to it, uh, we need to have that in tuneship that the music that they play in a church environment brings us. Um, there are churches that just do hymnals, hymn, hymns. Uh, there are churches that use choirs to sing their songs. And then there's other churches that use a full band. You got your drums, your electric guitars, your keyboards, and all that stuff. Um, it doesn't matter in which the music is played. It's the heart in which you're singing the songs with. Are you just singing the songs, or are you? Is your heart into the song? Is it? Is your mind focusing onto the words of what you are singing? Um. Today we were the, some of the songs that we were listening today really affected me, and you know really gave me a little bit of emotion why I'm at church, and. That just depends on the song. It, it depends on what you're going through, uh, what kind of encouragement you need from that song. Uh, and I, I guess that's really what I want to share. It's just, you know, let the, the music uh, bring your focus onto, onto Christ so that you can be in tune to what Christ wants to show you. And uh, I guess that's, that's the best I can do on, on, on why uh, worship music is important in a church. Um, and it, it really is just to bring us back into focus, to get us prepared for, the, like I said, the sermon, so that you know we are all on the same page, page thinking about what we are going to learn for the day 
on the Sunday. Now, doesn't mean that you can only listen to Christian music at a, at a church. I mean, when you're out and about, listen to it during the week. Maybe that same song from the same sermon will come in, and that'll reignite that thought of what we learned on the sermon. Um, or, you know, when you're, when you're having a moment, you know, go to your, turn on a Christian radio station and let those mu that song bring back the encouragement of Christ is with us, that God is searching for us, that God's with us. Okay? So that's what our words of encouragement are for today. Thank you and have a blessed day.